I perhaps can be more than a sinner. I can be the a piece of garbage, the biggest piece of garbage you can imagine. But since I am not the owner of my life, nor am I the one that interprets my life, I have an interpreter of my life. Therefore, my convictions, my form of thinking, the education that the Spirit has given me, the knowledge is that I should believe what my father says of me and he says that when he died on the cross of calvary look at what he did to your spirit it's written for by one offering he has saved you he sanctified you he perfect he perfected you forever those that are sanctified then he says and the holy spirit's also witness to us because the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and in their minds. Where? In their minds. What? This is what I do. I will write them in your head. Right now, I am writing in your mind. Because if you don't write them there, they do not come out of your mouth. In their minds shall I write them, and he adds, and their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. I will never remember on the cross that took place. And listen, these pastors and these priests remember. They have a tremendous memory for what's not right. They have a fantastic memory to remember of all your sins. But the Lord doesn't remember. It says that he threw them behind his back to never remember them again. That's why I say that they are criminals of pulpit, abusers, because they continue to call people sinners when God took away their sins. He didn't only forgive him and perfected you, but he's forgotten them so you don't have to remind him. Lord, that you know what leg I limp from. No, I don't. I forgot. <laughs> no, that you know that it, four years ago, I uh, remember, I forgot him. But if you want to remind yourself of them, go to uh, an apostle uh, of those out there these pastors because they're going to remind look at what it says here for the children not yet being what born the baby is in the womb of the mother the baby is in the womb of the mother he hasn't been born he hasn't cried nor having done any good or evil that the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works or conduct or by their works, but of him who calls. It is to say all these generations that have gone, that have passed, they had not been born and they were born and they never hear the truth. What they heard of mass preachers telling them that they're sinners, you're going to hell, you're going here, Christ is coming, and you're going to stay. You ain't staying nothing. They're going to go back up through the same cloud they came down, and they die, and the Lord says, I am going to be manifest to a people that they do not have to die without first knowing who they are. I'm going to give them their identity, and those people are you and I blessed. <laughs>